Hey, what's up everybody? This is Osterberg501 and today I want to go over the new PvE gameplay that we have gotten for the upcoming MMORPG called Core Punk. And I have gone over an overview of this game before, so I'd recommend checking that out if you want to learn more about the general overview and information about the game. And I mentioned this before, but personally for me, this is one of my most anticipated games in general and my most anticipated MMO release for the next couple years. And with this new PvE gameplay, it is looking very polished even when it's months away from the first public beta. And I want to go over some of the information in this PvE video and then go over some more general information because there's a lot of people that have watched this video and gotten the wrong impression of some of the stuff in this video because it's showing them facing one specific type of content in the game. And there's also some other information I want to go over in general. The entirety of this video is a party of four facing off against a handful of the different enemy camps in the open world of Korpunk. Now there's a bunch of misconceptions that this is going to be the entirety of the world. It's just going to be going from camp to camp, killing all of them, and then constantly rinse and repeating that. But this is a bunch of cuts of them just going to different camps and fighting different camps. And a lot of these aren't even camps that are right next to each other that you would just be able to go right to the next one. And how camps are going to work in Core Punk in general is they are going to be a piece of what helps to fill in the open world of Core Punk because Core Punk is going to be a completely open world MMORPG. And with these camps in the open world, they're also going to have quests everywhere, bosses, normal questing areas that are laid out more like what you would expect from a lot of other MMOs. And then at Added into that, you have open world PvP and all that type of stuff. But these camps aren't the only thing you're going to find out there. These are just a piece of the content that are going to help fill out the world. And in these camps, you could have a multitude of different things. You could have all the different creatures. You could have bosses in these. You could have rares. You could have much bigger, more open world type of bosses that you may even need raid parties for. All that type of stuff. And these will be sprinkled throughout the world in between questing areas, towns, quest givers, and all that normal stuff you would find in MMOs. And I've also seen some people discussing the overall speed of the combat and specifically the tank and not being able to hold aggro on a lot of these enemies. And something to mention with this is that these are all level 10 characters. The max level in Core Punk is going to be a level 40. So this is still pretty early on. So combat is most likely going to be quite a bit slower. The tank may not have as many options to be able to keep aggro on enemies and there could just be some balancing issues right now with how aggro is generated and for the overall speed of combat i think it is looking a lot better than it was in the alpha footage that got shown i think a year ago where there was like 15 minutes of footage of them running around killing some creatures picking up some quests and doing some quests and the game was much slower then and they had said that they were going to speed up the game even at the lowest of levels and this is looking pretty decent especially for low level characters at level 10. And if you compare this to say the start of a match of League of Legends, I think it'll make much more sense if you're someone that's played League of Legends quite a bit that the start of the match characters are much slower, have a lot less attack speed, and in general aren't doing as much, are using as many abilities, all that type of stuff. And with the classes and combat of Core Punk being heavily inspired by stuff like League of Legends and Dota, it makes sense that at low level, it would be more reminiscent of the start of a Dota or a League of Legends match. And one of the biggest things I noticed in this video is just how polished this game is right now. There was pretty much nothing that I could see that was a bug or some amount of clunky gameplay or any stuff that you would usually expect to see in a game that is months and months from launch and not even in a public beta phase yet. And that goes for pretty much everything in the video. The graphics.
graphics look really good, which I think they've always looked pretty good if you like this type of art style. The sounds look really good and seem pretty polished. All the animations look really good. And like I said, none of it looks buggy. Pretty much everything shown looks really polished. The only thing I saw in this video that looked a little bit weird is after the campfires they placed down expired, all the characters would just instantly appear on their feet at the same time, which is something so incredibly small, it barely matters, especially months and months out from launch. And I also really liked the way they did this gameplay video. This doesn't have any fancy editing. There's not jump cuts everywhere. There's just a little bit of combat, then a jump to another bit of combat. This is pretty much just a long form combat. They go to a camp, they clear it, and they either cut to them starting a next camp or they walk over to the next camp. There's no editing. There's no big cuts anywhere to hide anything. It's pretty much just long form combat showing all of the combat of clearing camps. And like I said, it all looks really polished and you pretty rarely get games like this that aren't kickstarted or that aren't in a paid for early access. You very rarely have gameplay release like this that's just long form gameplay that just shows everything. And I think that's due to the fact that the game does seem just incredibly polished. And also I will most likely be covering more of the specific information as we get closer to the beta and launch of this game on my MMO channel which is currently focused on new world right now so go check that out and subscribe to that if you want to keep up with all of my mmo specific videos i'll probably do some more general information on the game on this channel but once we get closer to launch all the specific stuff and then getting into all the builds and gameplay videos and stuff like that will be on my mmo channel so subscribe if you want to see more core punk or any other videos leave a like if you liked the video leave a comment down below what you guys think about this new core punk gameplay video and thanks for watching.